Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and welcome to my first video. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet for absolute beginners. So we're going to go through what you'll need, the yarn you'll need, basic stitches, just how to do everything nice and slow, nice and easy. And before we get into it, I just wanted to say that I'm a beginner too, so you're learning along with me. I only started crocheting last year and I picked up a lot of tricks since then. So I don't know if I'm doing it right all of the time, but I get it done. And yeah, let's get into it. So let's go through some of the things that you'll need. Obviously some yarn. Then I, through all of the projects that I've made, and I've made tons of different kinds of clothes, um, I've only used these three pieces. So this one is a 2.75 millimeter hook. It's pretty small. Um, you could work it with like a regular weight four yarn, but it's a little bit tougher and it'll make something really tight. This is a 3.75 millimeter hook. This is my most used one for sure. And this one is six millimeters. It's a bit bigger, so it'll make bigger holes on like weight four yarn like this, but definitely useful. Next, I've got this darning needle. It's plastic, it's not sharp, um, but you can use this for a bunch of different things. For the longest time, I was just using like a paper clip to do like the same kind of task that it is, but as I got more into making clothes, this is what I converted to. I'll need some scissors. As you start to make clothes, you'll probably want a measuring tape so that you can measure your size or whatever different sizes that you'll need. And that's about it. So these are the main sizes of yarns that I use. So this is a size five. It's pretty thick and you can make some things like this. I used it for a crop top to match Kylie Jenner. Next in line is weight four. I feel like this is like the kind of size of yarn that you think of when you're thinking of like craft yarn. And then next is size three. This one I find is not that much smaller than weight four. And you can do a lot of the same kind of things with it, but it's just a little bit smaller. And then weight two, I couldn't find any of that and I've never used it, but this is weight one. It's about like the same thickness as like embroidery thread, I think. So if you've got some of that, you could try practicing, but this one's a little bit harder to work with. I find that the easiest one to work with is weight four. This one also has like the most colors, the most selection, any kind of stores that you'll go to. So let's get started. First, at the beginning of almost every single crochet project that you're gonna do, you're gonna need a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, you wanna take the yarn over your two fingers, cross it over, and then pull through a loop. Like that. So you've got a little loop that if you pull one side, it'll get tighter, pull the other, it'll get looser. All right, so let's just do that one more time. So you've got your two fingers and pull it through, pull that little loop through. There you go. Now you're going to take a hoop of your choice, put it in the hole. And you can pull that tight. Not too tight though. So now here's how you get your grip on your crochet. So there's a couple of ways to do this but I found that this one is the most comfortable for me. So you put it over your pinky finger like that, in front of your ring finger and your middle finger, and then behind your pointer finger. And you hold on with your middle finger and your thumb. And then for holding the hook, I kind of hold mine like a knife. I know some people like hold it with a, like a pencil, but I just can't get the hang of that. So I hold mine like a knife, like that. So I have the hook facing towards me. So the next step that we're gonna learn is how to chain. Chaining is how you start like, and you're gonna find the width or the length of your project. And that's pretty much how 
big ear piece is gonna be once you get to it. So holding the little knot with my middle finger and my thumb, you're going to put your hook in front of the yarn and then behind it, and then you're gonna twist it. That's gonna catch the yarn so that you can pull it through the hole. I'll come a bit closer. Okay, so you've got your grip, you're holding it there, so you're going like that and pulling through. That's called a yarn over and then chain. So you yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Notice how I am kind of like grabbing closer to the hook every time I make a new chain, just so that it's more stable for myself. And then soon you'll get to be like super fast at it. But what you're making is what kind of looks like a braid. All right, so our first stitch that we are going to learn is a single crochet. This will come up in a lot of your projects. It's like the tightest stitch. Um, I don't think that it's the most stretchy, but it's very useful. So if you look at your chain right now, we've got this closest one to the hook and then we've got the second one. You're gonna wanna insert your hook into the second one. So notice how it's like a V shape right here. You just wanna put it into that top one. See that? It's just the top one. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through. So now you've got two loops on your hook. For the second part, you're going to yarn over and pull through both of those. I'm putting a bit of tension on my middle finger and my thumb down here and pulling through. All right, so that's your first single crochet. And now we're gonna go into the next one. So we're gonna insert it into that top loop, yarn over, pull through one, Got two loops on the hook and pull through both. All right, next one. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, move. <laughs> Insert the hook. Pull through two. Pull through one. Pull through two. Pull through one and pull through two. So as you're adding on more yarn, you see how your yarn will just kind of like slide through your fingers. That's why we use this kind of grip on our hand so that there's still some sort of tension, but not too much so that it can't, uh, so that it's restricting the yarn. All right, and we're just gonna come to the end. And our last one, there we are. Now we finished our first row of single crochet. Very exciting, looks cute. So now once we get to the end of a single crochet, you're gonna chain one. Every single time you finish a row of single crochet, you wanna chain one. And now you're going to flip this over like you're flipping a page in a book. And now we're looking at the other side. Now. We still have that V-shape going along the top, similar to our chains, but how we're going to insert for just a regular single crochet is inserting through this little hole here. See that hole? So you insert, yarn over, pull through one, and pull through two. And see that hole again? Pull through one, and pull through two. Pull through one, pull through two. So I'm just gonna keep going across until we get to the end. The end gets a little bit tricky for some people because it's hard to see that last stitch sometimes.
Okay, so that last one, it's harder to see the hole, but it's still there. If you look on top and there's still that kind of V shape, you still have one to go. So you just insert it. And there we go. Now we've got two rows. Super simple. So we chain one, flip it like a book, and there we have it. So I'll just do a couple more rows. You guys can keep practicing. So here we've got a couple of rows of single crochet. Looks really pretty. And so now I'm gonna show you how to finish crochet project. So doing the same thing before, chain one, pull it a little bit. Cut. And then with that open hole, I just kind of like pull it through and pull a knot. It's pretty tight, not gonna move. That is our single crochet. Next I'm gonna show you how to half double crochet. So again, we're going to do, start with our slip knot. So our two fingers wrap around and then pull through a loop. Pull, pull, pull until you've got this. You want to make sure that one side it pulls it tighter and the other side it <laughs> pull it looser. So just like before we're going to chain a few. So yarn over and pull through. Make sure to keep a bit of tension on this so that when you're working you don't make one that's like way bigger than the rest because that just looks messy, right? And this is how you half double crochet. The half double crochet I think is my favorite stitch. So what you do, you're gonna yarn over before you insert your hook. So yarn over, I put my finger on top here so that it doesn't slide anywhere. You're gonna insert into there. Now you're, so you've got three loops on the hook. One, two, three. So then you're gonna yarn over, pull one through, all right. Now you've got three lo loops on the hook still. Yarn over. And I'm putting some tension again on the chain here. And you're going to pull through all three. This stitch is a little bit stretchier than the single crochet. And I think it gets you farther like per stitch. So if you wanted to do something a little bit faster, half double crochet is the way to go. And I think that this is the most comfortable when you're wearing clothes. I did this in a lot of my crochet projects actually. So again, we're gonna go inside that top loop of the chain. And you're gonna pull through one, so you've got three on the hook, and pull through all three. Yarn over, stick it in that top loop. Sorry, you might be able to hear my dogs barking. All right, so then we're yarning, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through all three. We're just gonna keep doing that all the way across. And that was our last one. So for single crochet, we chained one at the end 
But now for half double crochet, you want to chain two at the end. You go one, two, and then flip it over like you're flipping a page in a book. All right, so for our second row, we are going to yarn over and look for that hole. You don't want to go right in here because that's where our chain is. You want to look for like easiest one. So you stick it in that hole, yarn over, pull one through, and then pull it through all three. Yarn over, pull one through, and pull it through all three. And we'll just keep going across the row. And now we're going into our last one. It's not as obvious, but look for that V shape on top. And you're gonna insert it there, pull through one, and pull through all three. And again, since it's a half double crochet, we're gonna chain two. All right. Yarn over, insert into the easiest hole right there. It's the first one. And you know, if you make any mistakes, crochet makes it like really, really easy for you to go back and fix it. It's not like with sewing where you need a seam ripper or knitting. I've been knitting for a while and I still don't know how to fix my mistakes well. But I'll show you how to fix your mistakes on crochet and it's really, really easy. I'll just finish this row. Make sure to get it into that last one right there. But yeah, if you make a mistake with crochet, so just chaining two, I'll show you. So say I go in here and I accidentally skip this guy and I just keep going, keep going, keep going. And then I'm like, oh my God, I have this extra hole in here. I skip this stitch right here, skip that stitch. So what you do, you just pull out your hook and you pull. And it's so easy to just go back to where you made your mistake. This is called frogging because you rip it, rip it, rip it, like rip it like a frog. I thought that was funny. I'm in a crochet Facebook group and all of their terms for things just make me laugh sometimes. I don't know if that makes me a grandma, but yeah. Um, another term that I thought was really funny and I thought about starting this video with it, but thought I was a little bit too aggressive is the crochet ladies in my group. They call themselves hookers because you know, you crochet with a hook, right? <laughs> I'd be like, hey hookers. Yeah. I don't know though. Let me know what you think. Anyway, so I got to the end of another row and I'm chaining two. All right, so this one's a little bit more stretchy than the single crochet. Just notice how that's tighter. Also, we've got a little bit more, it's a little holier. <laughs> um, so think about that when you're making clothes. This, like you could put this like right over your nipple and you would be able to see your nipple from behind it. This one, you might have a little bit peeking through depending on how much you have it stretched out. But yeah, just something to think about. But yeah, I'll just snip off here and pull that through to tie it off. There we are. And our final stitch that I will be teaching you today is the double crochet. I've also heard this one be called like the treble crochet in like UK terms. Um, but yeah, I call it double crochet because I just do single half double, and then double. So again, we're gonna start with our chains. You guys should probably have the hang of this by now. But again, we're yarning over, catching it with that hook, and pulling it through the loops. All right, so the double crochet starts similarly to the half double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, and stick it into the top loop. 
and you're gonna pull one through. All right, so now you've got three on the hook. You're gonna yarn over and only pull it through two. I find that on the first stitch after the chain, it's kind of hard to only pick, only get the two through. But anyways, it gets easier as you go along. So now you've got two on the hook, so you're gonna yarn over and pull through two. I was talking a lot during that last one, so I'll go through it again. So you're gonna insert into the top loop, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two again. Do it again. So we're gonna yarn over, insert the hook, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. This one I find is the stretchiest. It goes the farthest, so if you're really trying to work, Fast, this is the one to do. Pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Yeah, so we'll just keep doing this one as we go along. And in that last hole, there we go. So now for single crochet, we did one chain at the end. For double crochet, for half double crochet, we did two chains at the end. And for double crochet, you do three chains. One, two, three. We do this so that your edges are like even on either side and so that you don't lose any stitches. So why you're making the chain is to make the next row as tall as it's like going to be, right? because we see how thick this is, the next row is also gonna be that thick. So again, we're yarning over, finding that first hole, inserting, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. Again, insert into the hole, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Insert into the hole, Pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. So I'm just going to do a couple more rows and just show you what it looks like next to the other stitches. This one through through my hours of watching crochet YouTube videos, I found that double crochets it uses the least amount of yarn while going like the farthest. I think it's just because of how large each row is. Like when you think about single crochet, each row is pretty tiny, and then. Uh, half double crochet, it's a little bit bigger, and then double crochet, it's the biggest. Alright, so I'm going to tie off, so I'm chaining one, pulling, snip. And tying it off. So this one, it's got like the biggest holes, but that doesn't really stop me from making clothes with it. It's definitely the stretchiest. See all of that stretch. Got a bit more, a bit less stretch with the uh, half double crochet and the least amount of stretch with the single crochet. So it's up to you to decide what you wanna use for your projects. I, know, I just go with the vibe sometimes, but remember if you're going with a thicker yarn, it's going to be bulkier and depending on the kind of hook that you have got going on, that also could mean uh, bigger, smaller holes. So basically the thicker the yarn and the smaller the hook, the smaller the holes are going to be. If you've got a thinner yarn and a bigger hook, you're going to have big holes. I find that it's pretty safe to go with a size four because with almost any hook, you're getting a pretty good amount of coverage. And I find that this one is the easiest to work with. 
Right now, I'm working on a little project with that weight one yarn. And it's pretty cute, it's a little bit see-through, but I'm using this tiny, tiny little hook. So it's a little bit difficult sometimes to figure out what I'm doing, but I'll show you what I've got going on. So we saw it within that yellow yarn. We've got like those holes. The holes are just smaller when we're working with the weight one and this like tiny little hook. So I'm doing a double crochet on this project. Pull through one. Notice how it's just like little tiny itty bitty things that you need to like really watch for. This one I can't do as mindlessly as the other ones just because it's so small it requires like precision. But that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or want me to clarify anything or have any tutorials that you want me to go through, uh, just let me know in the comments. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting behind the scenes and like kind of like my progress pics for my crochet projects as well as the final things. Um, that's just at Alicia Autumn. And then on my TikTok, I post some tutorials and all kinds of stuff featuring my crochet work at Alicia underscore Autumn. So thank you so much for watching and bye. <laughs>